For the second part of today's lesson, we are going to write equations in slope-intercept form, given two points, and then also solve each system by elimination. So let's take a look at the first part here. Write an equation. Whenever we see those words, write an equation. Remember, you're using that familiar formula. It goes y minus y1 equals m times by x minus x1. It's called our point-slope formula. But in order to use that, we need a point and a slope. And we don't have a slope for these problems, so we need to find the slope. And so we're going to use this formula. It goes y minus y1 over x minus x1. And so we're going to take our points 5 and 2. Those are the y values. So y's go on top, 5 minus 2. And then I put the x's on the bottom, 6 and 2. So 6 minus 2. We go ahead and do some work there. Subtract, we end up with 3 fourths. So 3 fourths, that is the slope of our line. We're going to take that slope and one of the points. So I'm going to choose to take 6, 5. y minus 5 equals 3 fourths times by x minus 6. And so we go ahead and do some work there, multiply that 3 fourths over that subtraction. We still have this y minus 5, and it equals 3 fourths x. And then on this side, we off to the side, I'll write down 3 fourths times by negative 6 over 1. Reduce that fraction, and if I divide by 3 I, or 2, I end up with 3 over 2. And so I multiply across. And I've got 9, so it's minus 9 halves. And so 2's on the bottom here, 2 times 1. And so what we have to do is add this 5 to both sides. So when I do that, really careful here as I do that, I add 5. Now I'm going to change 5 so it's a fraction, and I need to have it with a denominator of 2. So I need to multiply by 2 over 2, which makes 10 halves. So I need to add 10 halves to both sides. So when I do that, I end up having to subtract these two numbers because they are opposite in sign. And I end up with my answer. y equals, and we have 3 fourths x, and then plus 1 over 2. So there it is, the solution, or the equation in slope-intercept form. Well, I've got another one to try here. Here we're going to, again, find the slope. And so the slope of that line is the y values. So these are the y values right here. 1 minus negative 1. Our x values, here are the x's. 3 and 2. So 3 minus 2. So we add the opposite, and we end up with 2 over 1. So 2, that's our slope. And so we're going to use that slope in the point-slope formula. Pick one of these points as well. So 3 and 1 I'm going to pick. So 1 is the y value. So y minus 1 equals 2 times x minus 3. We go ahead and use that distributive property. Multiply that 2 over that subtraction. So this is what we have now. y minus 1 equals 2x minus 6. So we can go ahead and do some more work there. We can add this 1 to both sides. Add 1, add 1, and let's see what's left over. we got y equals 2x minus 5. There is our solution. Uh, that's the equation that passes through those two points. Well, our next set of directions is going to ask us to solve the system. So to solve the system, I'm going to eliminate one of these variables. Well, I'm going to go ahead and multiply this bottom one by negative 3. I'm going to do that, be, or actually just positive 3. It's already a negative. This will cancel out the x terms. So let me rewrite what I've got. Negative 3x plus 3y all equals negative 6. And so I go ahead and rewrite this top equation down below. And I've got a 3x plus 2y, and this all equals positive 6. So when I add this stuff together... I get my x's to cancel. See, these are now gone, leaving me only with y to solve for. So I got 5y equals, well, these cancel out as well, make 0. So when you divide by 5, think about it. What times 5 makes 0? That's 0. So y equals 0. 
Anytime you divide a number into zero, you always get zero. Take that value of zero and substitute it in to find x. So let's go ahead and put it in for that top equation there. 3x plus 2 times by zero, because that's what y is, equals 6. Well, it just cancels out this term, so we're left with 3x equals 6. Divide by 3, and we've got our x term. x is 2. So there it is, 2 comma 0, the point where the two lines cross. Well, one more here. This one's a little bit more difficult because we can't just multiply by one number. So we have to multiply both equations here. So we're going to end up having to, I'm going to end up multiplying by smaller numbers. Instead of the 5 and a 4, let's do the 2 and the 3. Let's multiply this one by 3, this by 2. And you see when we do that, we'll end up with a 6x on the top and a negative 6x on the bottom. But you got to multiply each and every part of that equation by the number that you're multiplying by, which in this case is 6x plus 15y equals, and we go ahead and do that work, we have a oh, 78. And then over on this side, we get a negative 6x and a minus 8y. And this equals negative 50. So we go ahead and add this stuff together. And we get those x's to cancel. Got a 7y equals 28. So we do that division there, divide by a 7, and we got our answer, y as 4. Well, we're not done yet. We still need to solve for x. So I'm going to take that 4 and put it into one of these equations with the, in place of the y. So I'm going to take that top one, 2x plus 5y. But in place of y, let's put 4, equals 26. So that makes 2x plus 20 equals 26, and you just need to subtract that 20 from both sides. So take that 20 and rewrite what we've got. 2x equals 6. Divide by 2, and we got our answer for x. x is 3. So there it is, 3 comma 4, the point where the two lines cross. Well, those are the example problems for tonight's homework.